showing really cool vehicles here on Performance TV, and it doesn't get much cooler than this super cool and huge diesel truck. As a matter of fact, we got the whole crew with us. We're headed to the Performance TV studio right now. We're going to show you all about this truck and a whole lot more on today's Performance TV. Welcome to this week's Performance TV, where we are going big, we're going colossal, we are going monstrous, and we're talking about diesel trucks with Justina Reich from ReichDiesel.com. You've been doing this since how old? Well, diesel's in my blood since I was two weeks old. I've been uh, trucking tractor pulls when I was two weeks old with my dad and mom, and dad had a, has a Al Chalmers D21 that we pulled on a national and state level circuits you know, all my life up until about 15 years ago, we put her in the storage and haven't brought her back out, but maybe one day we will. Doing something like that, of course, you were getting a lot of experience because it's not like you just go to the pulling track and yeah, you don't tear anything down while you're there. Correct, yes, we had to, we had about 50 to 60 events every summer and we, whether the tractor was broke or um, it was just maintenance, we went through the engine from top to bottom, completely apart every third hook turbochargers, there's three uh, three turbochargers. We tore them down also, every hook, and replaced thrust bearings and everything in them, too. But what you've done is you've taken what you grew up with, your passion for diesel, whether it's tractor or truck or whatever, and you've turned it into a life for yourself, for a complete business, doing things from medium and heavy-duty trucks, all the different ones. You're even taking diesel engines and putting them into what was a gas truck. Yeah, I, like I have a 77 High Boy that I'm giving to my dad. I'm putting his old 7.3 Power Stroke in that. And uh, I just bought a 53 Dodge. My brother has a 62 Caddy that we're going to put an LLY Duramax in is one of our next winter projects. But my husband and I, and a little bit of help with the shop, but we built this truck. You know, it was a four door. We needed six door for our mobile chassis dyno that we take to truck pull and truck show events. You know, we needed this big of a truck. The truck was a little bit longer and we took it, shortened it up, put Peterbilt air ride suspension underneath it, added the uh, third row seats, gave it a paint job, added all the, the wheels, AR forged wheels, and um, the tanks and steps because we needed it so we could haul our crew to the dyno events. How big are those tanks? 125 each side. Yeah, you're not stopping <laughs> to fill up, are you? No, no. body brakes. <laughs> no, uh, you're, you've got more than what we have on our toter, for heaven's sake. Yeah. So, you know, anything from, like I mentioned, the, the smaller jobs, so to speak, to being able to create something like this, but you, even for the folks who wouldn't be able to bring and have you guys do a complete job at your shop in Ohio, you've got a lot of high performance parts available from your website. Yes, we do. You know, we try to put in a pretty good array of products that we utilize in the shop, top quality products. Some of them stand out to us more than others, such as Suncoast Diesel Performance and then the Schaefer's Oil. I'm a fourth generation user. My dad and mother are sales reps. That's all you see in our shop. We don't use anything other than the Schaefer's oil, just the high quality products and their original lubrication manufacturer since 1839 in America. I noticed you also brought some other stuff with you as well, that some of the parts that you probably go through a lot of with people having questions about on your, your flex plates and flywheels. Correct, and like not that we want to use just cheap parts or whatever. We want to use quality parts that we can stand by and they can withhold whether a customer is towing, street driving, truck full drag racing. We need those parts to hold up because we want it to to go out there and show its potential. Yeah, well, when you're building up all that torque with everything that you're doing up front, you've got to be able to carry it on through, and that's why you guys have the complete parts to go all the way through the drive line. Sure thing. So when someone comes to you and says, hey, I'd really like to make a switch, I want to, you know, I just find it interesting to take a diesel engine and put it in something that maybe wasn't a diesel before, where do they start? Basically, we just sit down together and collaborate what their needs are, you know, what they're going to do with the vehicle, if they want to go in phases, if we're just going to do the build right up front, and we'll just build a package for them and go through with what direction they want to go with it. 
that and even if they're just trying to you know maybe get a little more power for towing or, or whatever your experience your lifetime experience of working with diesels hey you want to take advantage of that for yourself we will have more performance tv coming up right after this americans love their vehicles and in 2018 alone they bought over 17 million of them turns out americans especially love their trucks and suvs of course, their versatility makes them more appealing. And the combination of relatively low gas prices and improving fuel economy are other big factors. In 2018, 68% of all vehicles sold were trucks and SUVs. Performance TV is brought to you by Craftline Storage Systems. Everything in its place. Steel rubber products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. RockAuto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. And by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Welcome back to Performance TV. Custom Auto Sound has a great product for cars and trucks that are a little bit older that folks want to have new modern amenities, like this slide bar radio for our 1986 GMC. First of all, it's going to fit perfectly right in the factory slot, but what it will do is give you the option to, first of all, have a smaller radio than your previous factory radio and use either a USB with thousands of songs on it or with this Bluetooth kit, get Bluetooth through your phone. Now think about all your Pandora and music and everything that you use, all those customized stations in your old school machine. The install is super simple and they have done a great job over the years. They've got great quality and one of the things that is awesome about it is that it looks just like the factory radio. And then you hit the slide, all of a sudden revealing the digital screen. You can change the colors. It is awesome. Now Custom Auto Sound also makes great speakers for your kick panels so you can have all your jams and your sounds as best as you want. Let's face it, the car sets the mood, the statement that you want to make. But when you're in the cockpit, you want to have everything be as modern as possible. Everybody's updating their rides and their engines and fuel injection. You want to do that with your sounds as well. So what we're going to do is take this slide bar radio. We're going to go into our 86 GMC. We're going to begin the install and show you just how easy it can be. We have climbed behind the wheel of our 1986 GMC. We're gonna install the radio. Now, the first thing you wanna do is disconnect the battery. And we did some prep work with the wiring harnesses from the factory system to the ones provided by Custom Auto Sound. And they make it really easy. Not only does the radio look great, but it is Joe-proof in that you can't mess it up. It is keyed, you push in the plug till it clicks, clicks in, locks into position, same thing for the top one, and you are pretty much good to go. We're going to install the um, antenna cable after it is all in position because it is a little bit short. So now it is plugged in and we're just going to kind of push it behind the dashboard and make sure nothing is in the way and put it in position. Now what I love about this radio is that it looks factory, but it's got all the amenities that I need, meaning the potential for Bluetooth, etc. All right, it's in position and we're going to get our washers on there as best as we can. It's going to be a little bit challenging, but I think we got what it takes. And then once it is in position, we will tighten it all down. Now, in this case, it's a little tough for me to get it started. I want to make sure I do not strip it. That is the worst thing you can do. You just got to take your time get threaded on. Now this factory bezel is causing me a little extra pain, but you just take a few extra seconds and it will go. And it has gone. Patience everybody, patience. Do it right the first time. So we'll get the bezel in position. I'm going to get this one tight. Now I would like to get the rest of the ratchet, but once I let go of the radio it's going to come down. So instead we're going to have to do it this uh, slightly slower way. But once we get one started, the other side's gonna go on very, very easily. We'll put the knobs on, and then we'll be able to fire up the radio, put it in position. All right, see, there's one side. It's gonna make things a lot easier over here. Now, whatever you do, do it slow. Be patient. Don't get frustrated. If something is giving you a challenge, walk away. Take a second and head back over and do it again. That is going to make sure you don't do a little 
give yourself some trouble in the long run. But once again, the guys at Custom Auto Sound have done such a great job of making it an easy install because they've had a lot of practice and been doing it since 1977. And what I can't wait to do is fire this thing up and see that Custom Auto Sound welcome screen that flips over when you slide bar this radio. So I've got a little bit more work to do in here and I am going to continue to finish the process and as soon as we are done we're going to fire this bad boy up. So we're going to finish up and then it's time to light the radio. There we are. The final knob and it is in position. Custom Auto Sound installed and it looks like a regular radio and all of a sudden you open this slide bar fire it up and how cool is that and just like that we can jam out to our favorite tunes down the road and we can listen to bluetooth and podcast uh, they do a great job you gotta love the folks at custom auto sound another job well done we'll be back with more performance tv after this it's time once again to check your automotive iq here on performance tv the first automatic transmission was invented by Canadian steam engineer Alfred Munro. Did Munro do it in 1882, 1903, 1921, or 1930? The correct answer is 1921. It took another 19 years for the automatic transmission to make it into a production car. Performance TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV. Everybody gets stuck. If you're in the car culture, you're going to get stuck. If you're out off-roading, you're definitely going to get stuck. That's half, which is half the fun sometimes. And we have a solution with the V-Track. That's right. It, vehicle recovery equipment. That's what the VRE stands for. These are really, really cool, Joe. Can't believe that, you know, somebody hasn't come up with something like this before. But these made in the USA, first of all, 42 inches in length. 14 inches wide, and you're going to be able to use these over and over and over again very simply if you get stuck in the mud or the sand or the snow. So true. First of all, Made in America, which I love. The fact that it stacks together and is easily storable. The kit comes with a bag, some zip ties, which are extreme zip ties. Yes. You can tie them together, stakes, and everything you need if you were to happen to get stuck. Now the bottom line is this, you're out there to have fun, but you've got to be prepared and this is as prepared as you can be. If you find yourself stuck, you will put this under your wheel. All of a sudden you'll get some traction and yes. move on. But what if you go out with all your friends and you each have a set? Well, you can build your own road. Yeah, and that's where the zip ties come into play. Right on the ends, you'll see where you can tie them together. Like if you needed to make a little bit of a makeshift road to go over the top. Now, Somebody might be thinking, what about weight? Well, they actually come in a couple of different ways. You can get the LT version, which is going to go up to 5,500 pounds, or just go for the Gusto. The heavy-duty version, 5,500 all the way up to 35,000 pounds. That is a huge vehicle, and most importantly, it's going to help you get unstuck. If you want to stake them down, you can do that too, just to make sure you have the traction. And they even offer uh, aftermarket or additional traction that you can add on after the fact. Yeah, because you might come into a situation where you do have a little bit of spinning issue and it may wear down our treads here. But they're also going to let you have a little fun with it too because they come in some contrasting colors. As you can see that we've already got some on our green. We have orange on the black and they come in different packs so and they're very simple you can add them on all you need to have is a phillips screwdriver and you can put the replaceable treads on so that way yes these are used over and over and over again the heavy duty ones they're very flexible so you don't have to worry about that and these things are going to last you for years they can handle the weight they've got even a little toolbox built in for a screwdriver for the stakes if you're just an occasional outdoorsman or if you are a hardcore outdoorsman this is a product that you're going to want to have to be prepared yes and it was fun to go out and try these out as well find out more about all of the different packages that they offer by going to their website at vre-track.com Time now for the lowdown with Magic Creeper. 
Hey, Joe, you know what? We don't always hang out here in the garage in the studio. We do go out on the road. Big time shows, hitting all the trade shows, SEMA, PRI, great times. We got to bring a lot of equipment. That's right. And sometimes we even have to do some manual labor. Yeah, what happened with that? <laughs> yeah. Where's the crew? Where's What's the crew? going on here? But we can handle it. That's right. One of the really cool things about Magic Creeper that we keep in our vehicles with us is moving large objects, heavy stuff. We can just a couple hundred pounds. That's right. Grab the creeper. Look at this. Slide it right forward. And of course, loading it the same way. You can set it on there. Joe can even do it by himself. Slides right forward. And there you go. And that's the same kind of thing if you had in the back of the pickup truck or whatever else. There's no weight limit on the Magic Creeper. If we were to get stuck on the side of the road, which we would not because our vehicles are well maintained, we could get on the ground and slide under or around, protect ourselves from rocks or whatever debris happen to be on the road and move freely with an extra couple of inches of clearance. You know what? And we like to keep one of these, the Magic Creeper inside. This is a nice little carry case that you can get separate with the Magic Creeper or this whole emergency roadside kit. Absolutely, they do a great job. We use it here at Performance TV and it is definitely the real deal. That's right, it's lightweight, it's easy to store, and of course it is also water resistant and everything else is gonna keep you clean when you're down on the ground. Find out more about the Magic Creeper, just go to the website at magiccreeper.com. Let's take a quick look back at one of the highlights from our trip to the PRI show in Indianapolis. Oh, we think about IndyCar and Sprint Car and other round track racing and drag racing, but what's making this show truly international is when you have a car like this Lamborghini Huracan running in a trophy series class in the pro class. If you were to buy one of these Lamborghini cars, you're going to have about a quarter of a million dollars in it, a stock one with about 630 horse, but I know that this one has got a whole lot more. Electric powered vehicles are becoming more popular these days, but the concept isn't exactly new. William Morrison created the first successful electric vehicle back in 1887. Morrison's electrified buggy was a big hit at the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago. Its four horsepower motor could propel the vehicle to 20 miles an hour with a range of 50 miles. Don't go away, more performance TV is on the way right after this. Performance TV is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking hitter bolt. Locking kits now available for all turbo applications. Go to stage8.com. Rock Oz, restoring your ride's finish is about to get easier. Classic Dash, add a touch of class to your dash. And by NH Oil Undercoating, the official oil-based rust prevention system. Welcome back to Performance TV. All you diesel guys and girls out there, you're gonna wanna pay attention. We got this Big Daddy Dodge Ram in the house. Logan and Chad are gonna talk about how we can increase our efficiency. Guys, tell me a little bit about PPEI and what you do. So what we do at PPEI is we wanna focus on maximizing efficiency and performance of a vehicle. So what vehicles, when they come from the factory, sometimes we feel like they're underrated on power or they're unable to tow what they say they should be able to tow. And we wanna be able to make that vehicle perform like it should. And Logan, you guys are young guys. How did you get into the diesel game? Well, just like everyone else, when you drive a vehicle, you really want to tap into that untapped potential uh, that these vehicles have. Um, and we drive them every day, just like everyone else does. Uh, we want to see what they can do. So we use our state-of-the-art testing equipment that we've acquired through years and years of experience. And we really want to get into seeing how we can improve the fuel economy, horsepower, and overall efficiency of these vehicles so that you know, they perform better, they save us money, and, and they're fun to drive. That is exactly why we do performance TV. Now, there are many different calibration tools out there, but you guys kind of work with many of them. Explain how that works. So the way we use our calibration tools are certain vehicles use certain ones, or certain platforms for flashing work better on other vehicles. So what we have here today are we have our EasyLink Auto Agent and we have our EFI Live AutoCal. Those are two different flashing platforms where one works better on certain vehicles where this one right here will work specifically on this Dodge Ram we have, but this EFI Live Auto Cab will work on like an 01 to 10 Duramax better. And what kind of vehicles do you and your calibrations cover? We cover from 2001 to 2020 GM Duramax. We also cover from 06 to 20 Ram Cummins. We also cover from 08 all the way to 2020 Ford Power Stroke. So a lot of different vehicles, not necessarily a one size fits all solution though. You like to talk with the customers out there about their specific combination. Tell us about that. 
Right, so what we do is a little bit different than what a lot of other tuning companies offer, where, where if they come to us and they have a specific modification under their truck, where a box tuner, which a lot of other tuning companies offer, which is specifically one tune that one size fits all, kind of, where it's the same exact tune that goes in every truck that that tuning company offers. Our tuning is for custom tuning. And you give them options, towing, max power. How does that work and how do you support your customers? So what we do is we give our customer the choice to choose from which tune they want is specifically for their needs. So when a customer comes to me and says, hey, I'm looking to get some different tuning for my truck. I want to enhance the performance of my vehicle. I say, all right, cool. What are you using the truck for? Well, when they provide me the information they're looking for, whether it's for tuning, was for performance, or whether it's just for fuel economy, I'll be able to coach them or guide them in the right direction, is which is best for them and their needs for their vehicle. Increasing efficiency. It's something everybody does. And drivability, I'm sure that's very important to your guys. Yes, it is. So efficiency is huge. Just because you make a high horsepower number doesn't mean it's efficient for the engine. So efficiency is what our key word is here. We want to be efficient. Drivability is also huge because a lot of these vehicles, they have a dead pedal from the factory where if you get in the vehicle and you want to drive it down the road and you hammer down on the throttle, it doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. Well, we can fix that with our tuning. Well, we're going to put it to the test. We're going to hit the streets in this Dodge Ram and see exactly what PPEI is all about. All right, we're out here in the Dodge Ram. First of all, I love this truck. This thing is massive. And you got a massive truck, you got to have power. And I can feel it. You guys have got really good throttle response. Yes, yeah, so what we've done is we've dialed this truck in. So from the factory, they have a real bad dead pedal is what they call it, where when you first apply throttle, you feel like you really have to punch it to get going, where it feels like it's stalling off when we come from a stop sign or a red light. Well, we've gone through and we've fixed that with our tuning. If there's no more dead pedal, when you hit the throttle, it goes. Yeah, I can feel that. And when the power comes in, and as you said, if I'm towing something heavy, I want that power, but also to be able to toggle back and forth between a tow tune and an efficiency tune, that I think is what makes you guys different. Absolutely, and we really take pride in what we do and we're really excited about bringing this to the market. We think that with our tuning, with your truck, whatever, whosoever truck, we can really bring it to life. You guys out there want more information, you gotta hit their website. They've got a really cool product going on and I love what I'm feeling. But unfortunately, this is the last moment of this week's Performance TV. If you've got a sponsor that you'd like to put on our show, email Jeff and we'll see you next week. I'm gonna hit it. Here we go. Yeah.